Hello, I'm Alvin. Welcome back to Tasty's Making It Big, the show where I make giant food for my friends. One thing I've always wanted to make on the show was the Krabby Patty. So my friend Andrew Ray, who you guys might be familiar with, is the creator of the Babish Culinary Universe. He sent me a challenge video, so let's take a look. Alvin, Andrew here from Binging with Babish. You know who I am, you've been here in my house. I hear you're back to your old tricks again, making gigantic food and whatnot. And I'd like to challenge you to make a giant version of one of the most popular recipes of all time from my show, the Krabby Patty. Now I maintain that the secret ingredient in the Krabby Patty is nothing. We have a burger that creates its own viral marketing campaign. The Krabby Patty is an enigma. So to make something satisfactory for our audience, we gotta just try and load it up with as many undersea umami ingredients as possible. Maybe grind the umami ingredients into the beef, but nobody really knows what's in the Krabby Patty. The only thing I know it's not in the Krabby Patty is crab, because it'd be kind of f***ed up, right? It'd be to have Mr. Crab serving burgers made from crab. That's barbaric. So load it up, make it big. I can't wait to see it. Well, Andrew had a lot of great things to say. I think we're gonna start with making the bun. So this is actually a recipe by the great Joshua Weissman. This is his burger bun recipe. Check him out. All right, so I put some yeast and sugar in some milk. Let the yeast get nice and bubbly. Yeast will start to grow up right before our very eyes. They grow up so fast, don't they? That's what my mom used to say. Uh, she's, she still says, she's here. She still says that. While that's going, I'm gonna make what's called a tangzhong. It's essentially a milk bread inspired recipe. So I'm putting in milk, some flour, and some water. Gonna give that a nice stir. And essentially, this kind of makes like a milky roux kind of situation. It's gonna give the bread some really nice textures. So this mixture is getting kind of thick. As you can see, it's like a very milky paste, but I think this is good to go. All right, I'm bringing in Todd. Whew. So we have our good friend Todd back in the fray in a bowl. Bread flour. Don't spill. Stop spilling, Alvin. Classic salt. And this very dangerously bubbly yeast mixture. All right, in you go. Woohoo! And we're gonna go slow. All right, this dough is coming together. I'm gonna put in the, the flour paste. I'm gonna go in with the eggs. There we go. This is a stiff dough. Well, as you can see, I'm bracing this mixer with my entire body. He seems to be having a very, very difficult time. Oh, he's working hard. I'm gonna add in the butter. We're gonna turn the speed to low. And he shut off. We're gonna give him a little break. Todd's pissed. He's very hot. We'll let him cool down a bit. And then, you know, we'll talk because we can't resolve these problems right now. And now we're gonna slowly add in butter. I think he's ready for some more butter. All right, more butter. There you go. Yeah. Okay, last bit. Oop. Here we go again. I hope this table doesn't burn. Uh, I'm gonna call this done just cause uh, this is very hot, but I think we can make our bun into this bowl. All right, get out of there. Hey, okay, I should stop doing that. I do that too much. Actually give this guy a nice flip. And I think we're good. This dough baby is gonna take a nice nap and then we're gonna keep making the crab patty. Well, it seems like my dough has gotten quite large. Kind of looks like me after a big meal. Time to punch it down. Anyways, this comes out onto the board. I'm trying to get this roughly all patched up into a ball shape, so then I can turn it over. This is a beautiful dough baby. We're gonna get him into this ring. Just a warning, this is not how you handle babies. Don't do this. Okay. Here we go to the oven. So as Andrew specifically mentioned in his challenge video, the secret ingredient to a Krabby Patty could either be nothing, which is very smart, or he also mentioned that we could do a custom powder based on things you might find 
in the sea. So first, I'm gonna put some kombu, just dried seaweed or kelp into a spice grinder. Uh, you know, I feel like this makes sense. You know, Mr. Krabs has a wealth of these resources about him. Bonito flake, which is dried fish flake, some dried shiitake mushrooms, and one little anchovy. This is the fish that got on Mr. Krabs' bad side. Don't do that. He, he tried to steal the recipe, so he became a part of the recipe. Wow, that's dark. Anyways, I'm gonna spice grind these now. Ooh, that's fun. This is looking okay. Ooh, that's a, wow, look at that. I'm just gonna sift this. It smells very like sea, sea, seafoody, like the sea. Ooh, it smells good. It's just out of my nose. So the Krabby Patty is still a burger and based on Andrew's recipe in his show, he likes to make the burger from scratch, which I also do as well. So we have a lot of beautifully marbled short rib and we have Chuck chopped into, nobody saw that, chunks and semi frozen. Here we go, put too much. We're gonna do this in batches just like Andrew does in his videos, which is the correct way to do it. I did not listen. Oh, that's better. Yeah. All right. Nice and pebbly. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I'm very happy with this. And this isn't all the beef. This is just the small batch, as you can see. It's going to take quite a while of grinding beef, so we will be back. Well, after a lot of help from the culinary team, we have 25 pounds of ground beef. It is time to season. Andrew said putting the seafood powder directly in the meat could add that extra flavor, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in. Ooh, look at that. There we go. Ground pepper and salt. All right. I think this is gonna be my workout for the day. Here we go. Oh boy, here. Yep. Mm hmm. Hi yo. <sighs> we'll be right back. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, well, this has been sufficiently mixed. Let's see if I can do this. Oh my God. Whew, that's heavy. <laughs> Let's get this guy into a nice shape. Wanna make sure there's no big air pockets. Seal this guy up. I don't think I've ever seen this much beef before. Oh, except sometimes on like, you know, random like Twitter drama. This is like the comment section right here. I don't use Twitter, so I don't really know if that's true. Let's do some final seasoning. I know I already seasoned the inside, but if I make a burger, I'm gonna season the outside um, just to get a nice, you know, flavor. Salt from very up high, covers it evenly. Woo! And, you know, some pepper. Ooh, careful, Alan. That's a lot of pepper. I think it's safe to say that this 25 pound patty is sufficiently ready. And he's gonna go into the oven. Here we go. Oh my Lord. <sighs> Time to go. Oh God, my arms are so tired. I think also Andrew on his show for Babish makes custom cheese slices. So we're gonna make a custom American-ish style cheese. So first I'm gonna bloom some gelatin in some milk. And now I'm going to heat up some milk and butter. So this butter and milk is nice and melted so we can move on. All right, bring back the old food processor. In here, just gonna dump in a lot of cheese. Slow and steady wins the race is what a loser would say. So we're just gonna, yeah, we're spilling it. That's okay. Woo! Okay, now I'm gonna put the salt in and it's gonna quickly pulse this until it calms down a bit. Okay, and then into this milk and butter situation. Gelatin is nice and bloomed. We're gonna get all this plop in there just so that we don't keep spilling because that seems to be the theme of this show. Uh, I'm gonna pour the milk and gelatin mixture into this cup. There's a high probability that I'm still gonna spill. Ooh, no spill. It's like a cheese smoothie. Wow. Yep, that's definitely cheese. Okay, this is done. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh wow, this is like a paste. It smells delicious. I kinda wanna eat it with like nachos. I'm very happy with this technique. Wow, that's satisfying. It's like frosting a cake, except there's no cake, it's a burger. All right, well, uh, yeah, here we have it, a giant cheese slice. This is gonna go chill in the fridge so the gelatin can set. And then I think we are going to start assembling. I really hope Andrew is excited for this because just look at this, man. <laughs> 
Well, well, well. <laughs> Seems like we have a very large burger bun. Wow, look at this dude. Let's carefully wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ooh. Nice. All right. <laughs> this is wild. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's very soft. All right. Just some trimming on the bun. As all good burgers, the buns should be toasted. Because they don't have a toaster this big, I'm just gonna do it this way. Some melted butter, brush that on, and we're gonna toast it. <laughs> I'm not sure if a Krabby Patty's buns are toasted. Maybe they can't toast it because they're underwater. Although that logic would kind of invalidate the whole restaurant idea. I also don't know where they would get butter. There are no cows. But then again, I guess there's no beef, so then they can't. We're not really using logic on this show today. We're just making giant food and having a good time. Well, I have a heat gun and a dream. It takes quite a while to toast a bun with a heat gun, so I'm going to be here for quite a while. So, uh, with the help of my teammates, this uh, bun is now successfully toasted. It smells incredible. Highly recommend toasting your buns. Anyways, this right here is the cheese slice. I'm gonna remove it. Ooh, patty's almost done. Cheese is here. I think it's time to make a Krabby Patty. So, you might be wondering, what is under this delicately blanketed packages? And well, I don't know why I'm talking like this. I just, it's, it's the patty. He's been baking for like an hour and a half. It's time to finally see what we got. Dang, that's a big patty. <laughs> And then now the big question is, Alvin, how are you gonna get this patty onto the bun? But I found a tool, more like a weapon. Here we go. <laughs> it's so juicy, I love it. I mean, there's a lot of flavor. Oh boy. I don't know if I'm physically strong enough to do this, to be quite honest. I don't know if these spatulas are either. <laughs> I have two hands, <laughs> three spatulas. How is this gonna work? I have no clue, but we will try. Oh my God. God, it's so heavy. <laughs> wow, I think it's time to put on the cheese slice. Ooh, this is soft. I might have to like completely flip this over. Fingers crossed, I guess. All right, one, two, three. Woo! Well, the cheese is on, I guess. Well, we have our condiments laid out. We have pickles, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, ketchup um, with some MSG for that umami flavor and Miso mustard. I want to see if I can get the cheese to melt a little bit. It smells so good. All right, so we'll just do the lettuce then. We're gonna do tomatoes next. Now I'm going to put the onions. All right, pickles, last two condiments, some ketchup. So miso mustard. All right, <laughs> the bun is going on. Careful, Alvin. Don't mess this up. I think this is it. This is a, it's like a 40 pound Krabby Patty. Wow, look at that. Okay, final touch, the sesame seeds. Gonna glue them on. With a little bit of honey. Not sure if this will work, but oh, it, it one fell already. That's okay. Ah, nice. One. Just get a little dollop. Stick. Please stick. Since I'm doing these all by hand, I may be here for quite a while. So, final touches. And then Andrew should be here. And, well, our special guest is here. Welcome back to the Tasty Studio, Andrew. Thanks for having me, dude. So you sent me that video in the morning and uh, we spent the day making a giant Krabby Patty, you know, followed the instructions. I'm very excited to see what you made, man. I've never been made big before. All right, well, without further ado, one, two, three. Take a look. Holy sh <laughs> Look at the size of that. What are the sesame seeds? <laughs> They're the little pieces of white bread that I cut out because they don't grow them like that. Um, the beef is your recipe, also from your Basics Burger episode. It was 25 pounds of meat, like no kidding. Jesus. Most expensive episode we've done. Oh, the burger has the seafood powder, so bonito, kelp, dried anchovy, shiitake, we kind of made that. But yeah, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, just like Mr. Crab says. We did miso mustard, like yours. Okay. Some umami ketchup. Did you remember the pickles? Always. If okay. I, I would take this top off, but there are pickles underneath this bun. Because I was about to go bubble bass on your I just got really scared for a second. <laughs> uh, anyway, do you want to actually come here and take a look? We'll switch sides. Let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here. May I touch it? May yes. I do things to it? It's technically yours. How are these adhered? Uh, a little bit of honey. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I eat it? Would you like me to cut you a slice? I think we should get a cross section of this thing. Godspeed, Elvin. Thank you. This knife is vertical. Yeah, that knife is not the size of that burger. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. 
Oh my God, it's properly cooked. I don't believe it. Look at that. Look at that. It's like, what, medium rare-ish? That's a, that's a solid medium to medium rare, which is astonishing considering the size of that burger. Well, let's eat some. Yeah, would you like this half? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, I get my own half. I, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to assemble myself like yeah. an actual bite. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Tomato, lettuce. I'm just making sure I have all the of elements Of course, here. I respect that, please. There we go. All right, I got myself a bite here. Here all we right, go. Well, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Does it taste like something Mr. Krabs would serve at his restaurant? I'm gonna <clears throat> give that a big old giant yes, just like your <laughs> big old giant burger, my friend. That tastes like the Krabby Patty when I made it. That's all I need to hear. Better even. And bigger. Thanks for coming in, Andrew. Thanks for making this thing, man. This is crazy. It's, it's huge. It's delicious. It's a work of art. It's making it big. And well, with that being said, thank you, Andrew, for coming in. I don't know why he's frozen. Can some, he's lagging a little bit. It's freeze frame. Freeze, oh, freeze frame. Please check out Andrew's channel. A lot of cool stuff uh, going on there. I made a video with him once. That was very fun. And yeah. Thanks for coming in. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>